Ah. Hey, there we go. Nice. Very nice. Let's maybe readjust that just a smidge. There we go. That's better. <laughs> I mean, just even if you're just in regular view, that's fine. Okay, it's got controller support now, which is awesome. So, welcome back. We're gonna be checking out the new Seaworthy update for Subnautica Below Zero. They've pretty much added most of the story now. There's probably still going to be a few bits that they're saving for the final release of the game, which is coming out in, what, May? Uh, that being said, it's pretty much a complete game. It's got the final soundtrack, and I think all of the game elements should be good, and they've, as they've stated, squashed the bugs. Not all of them, but, you know, more of them. So we're going to start this over from the beginning and see where we're at and what they got. So let's try it out. Dive right in. See what we got. Oh, the little loading thing has a little pangolin. With the little penguin guy on the loading screen. Definitely not a pangolin. I think they're called penglings or something? Pangling, yeah. Oh, he jumps and moves and he trips whenever it stops. <laughs> oh, apparently I'm not a moderator for your channel anymore. Oh, I'll have to go in there and readjust that. I didn't know those expired. I don't know. It's been so long since I turned up for work, they just fired me. <laughs> yeah, right? Sorry, we had to seek help other, other elsewhere. It is to me, and Sam. Yeah, I'm sorry, they made it just here. Yeah, right. I can use it for cover from terrorists. Just that. Just that. Just that. Okay. Oh, there's. What is that? The Vesper? So I'm heading down to the surface. Well, that's cool. I like that nice little intro cutscene they got now. That's new. Well, the, the planet's already. Oop. Oh, now I'm crashing. Uh, the planet's already been uh, established somewhat. Because this is a direct sequel to Subnautica. So after the um, after Altera initially crashed on the site, they've tried to set up stuff and they're studying the planet now. Okay. And so Robin has her and her sister have been in charge of a research team around the Arctic cap of the planet. <laughs> Welcome to the planet. Enjoy your stay. Boo. <laughs> Get fucked. If I was a robot, I hope I'd be a robot. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's raining debris. So apparently, this part of the planet experiences frequent meteor showers. And I thought we had bad weather. No, don't. <laughs> we love the weather here. So, for those of you who haven't played Below Zero, but have played the original Subnautica, this is a new um, survival mechanic that they've added into the game where you have temperature. So, those flowers look like these, like weird wire and like gel flowers I'd make as a kid. Yeah. And they, 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 they have like heating elements in them like big light bulbs. They also glow a lot at night. Which is really cool looking. 
that they that they scare the shit out of me. Yeah, and they're attracted towards things that that move. Why is there just a bunch of granola bars laying around here? I imagine that's way more like dwarf bread or something than a granola bar. <laughs> well, yeah, but they're food rations. What does it call it? Tack or something? Oops. No, that's different. That's a thing to do with horses. Oh, okay. That's the screenshot button. I don't know how, what all the new buttons are. Never played with a controller. That's no, it's new. Great. Brand new controller support. That's really weird that they, they default make pressing in the right joystick uh, the screenshot button. Normally, that's like sprint. So let me let me check the controllers here. So run mode, hold to run. Okay, so you auto run. Enable controller. Yeah, layout automatic. Don't invert the look. So what are the bindings? Jump is Y? That's weird. I've seen jump is Y before. So right hand is right trigger. Left hand is left trigger or A. Holster is B. Deconstruct is down. Okay. The PDA is select. Cycle. Okay. Tool alternate use. Take picture. Yeah, press and right stick. X is reload. What, do they have guns now? Answer call is down. Okay, and then going up and down is left the bumpers. Okay, that's what I needed to make sure before I jump into the water. I need to make sure I can properly swim. I mean, I can just look where I'm going and be fine. Huh. Pretty. Plants contain electrolytic materials that can be used in energy storage. Yeah, they make batteries. Paper! Here, fish. Come here. Come here. I'm gonna drown. Trying to catch this damn fish. Oxygen. Yeah, 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 I know. I need to swim to the surface. Uh oh. That was weird. Uh. Holster. There we go. <laughs> Gotta holster my fish, guys. Hold on a sec. Uh, I don't know if it's showing up on the recording, but there is an echo. I don't think it's picked up. New creature uh, you're hearing an echo? Yeah, let me see if I, I'm picking it up on the actual stream. New blueprint synthesized. Yeah, because you're going to hear a bit of an it's echo coming through my headphones because I have two things playing. But there shouldn't be an echo on the actual stream itself. Yeah, okay. The stream does pick up, uh, the clock. But surprisingly, it doesn't pick up the echo. Yeah, it's because it's what you're hearing is you're hearing the recording software playing, and then you're hearing the Twitch stream playing. Mm -hmm. So you're seeing both. I could mute the Twitch stream so I can watch chat and not have that, that now, play. Do you have sound coming out? Coming oh. out of this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, let's see here. Do, 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 do. So, I got storage. So, here's my little safety pod. I got my fabricator. Can make some food and water. So this should just be a uh, pretty much standard generic uh, Subnautica for the time being. Until I get situated and start exploring around a little bit more. So where is... there we go, there's my inventory. Ooh, I got all kinds of ribbon plants. Go me. Mmm. Mm. Well, Sam, I guess I might as well gather some tools and resources before starting my search. Hope that radio tower is as easy to spot as Lil said. 
Okay, radio tower. Good, I was wondering if they were gonna fix adding instructions. Oh my god, penguins! Look at the alien penguins. They're cute. Boo. They look really tropical for me, you know. Yeah. Their mouth is the top of their head. That whole thing opens up like a freaking predator monster. <laughs> <laughs> I love that shit. It looks so cool. Okay, let's find me some minerals. Should be able to use this. I need me lots of titanium and copper. Get my basic tools made. Hopefully, I can catch me a couple fishies, so I can have some tasty treats. Cause I need food. Oxygen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I also need to make an oxygen tank. I hate starting out in Subnautica without the oxygen tank, cause you can barely stand with the water for like more than a couple seconds. I remember when Subnautica wasn't released yet, playing it. And oh, the I original one? I didn't understand the mechanics of the game well enough, so I built, like, just an air tube very laboriously from the surface to where I wanted to go. Yep. You're, you're not the only person to do that, I assure you. <laughs> That's a pretty common first idea. So I kind of like those. You can, you can explore around with the system and try different things out, and, like, there's... There's a lot of like weird little options you can make with the the crafting to. Do they still have a creative mode in the, yes. the first game? Yeah, and this one. Okay, yeah. I think they took out terraforming from it because it was too glitchy. But yes, um, when I was there, when you still could do terraforming. Yeah, they had that in the the original beta version of it, um, but these games don't have procedurally generated maps which a lot of people kind of get confused by because you kind of expect a game like this to have a procedurally generated map because it's a survival game yeah. but survival games also generally don't have very expansive extensive in-depth stories like this either so it, it's very reliant on having a fixed map to be playable which I like because they put a lot of work into the maps for these games it's crazy how much work they put in As long as I don't run into any damn sea monkeys. I hate those things. What? The sea monkeys? Regular sea monkeys are like tiny. Not on this planet. <laughs> They're very large and they steal your tools. Oh, those guys. Mm hmm. Yeah, incredibly annoying. So I need to find, I think, a source of rubber. So I need to find kelp. There's kelp. I need a kelp bushel. And I need a scanner as well. Oh, I don't even have a, a knife to cut these things. But I want to try to see if I can... Oh, there's a sea monkey. I don't have any tools. You can't steal shit from me. Ha ha ha. Joke's on you. Sea monkey. Damn it. I wanted that fish. Oxygen. Yeah, I know, I'm drowning. New creature discovered. A hoop fish. There we go. That should be enough resources to make something. Providing I even have the plans to make anything. I'm not entirely sure that I do or don't. Picking up some fish. Fishing the hard way. Ooh, an arginite outcrop. Ow, oh, I just had titanium in it. Well damn. I really like how this, this part of the map looks at night. Because everything's all glowy and cool. It's really pretty. Oh, whoa, look at these particle effects in the sky. Is the moon cool? Yeah. Let me see. 
Moon! You're gonna make me start quoting that. <laughs> it's not gonna be great. <laughs> There's not enough context for this shit. <laughs> Stop mocking me! <laughs> That's, I know the moon thinks it's better than me. Just sitting there, floating around, being a moon. How inconsiderate. Have you considered becoming a moon yourself? You know, I've tried, but I don't think I could eat that much food. Is that, are you referencing <laughs> the Garfield comic? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> What if I am? Ah. Mmm. Cook up some hoop fish. My favorite. Really love the nice little wiry, uh, you know, rim that it has around it. Bone. Ridge. Whatever you want to call that. Oops. Okay, let's eat these before they go bad. Okay, now I got plenty of water. Ate my food. And I've got some decent resources. So, basic materials. So I can make rubber, glass, lubricant, copper wiring, batteries. What do I need to make tools? So, I need fiber mesh, so I can't make that. What about a knife? Just need some rubber. Okay. Nice. Need my kniff. You know, he used to pronounce the K in those English words. You know, I think I've heard that before. I believe it. I just, as, as a native speaker in this century, I cannot figure out how to consonant cluster K and N. Mm hmm. Not in that order, anyway. I can say, like, Hank in the opposite order. <laughs> More rubber. Okay, now I can produce some fins. So I can swim a little faster. So to make a scanner, I just need a battery. I don't want an air bladder, I don't need flares. And I don't need a flashlight yet. So, let's make some batteries. Battery! Copyright struck for singing Metallica. Yeah, now I can scan shit. Let's make some glass. Flashlight. Whoa, what was that? Peter, did you? Peter, did you fall over? Come on. <laughs> Oh, he's a nasty boy. Yeah, I have to make fun of my cat. It's, it's mandatory. Okay, let's deposit this stuff for now. So now I have some tools. I can get some shit done. So how do I... Aha! Knife. Scanner. I like how they, how the the character looks at the tools and like checks them out. Don't don't point the flashlight in your eyes. Jeez, man. Come on. Let's be reasonable about this. Coral bridge. Coral bridges are formed by rapidly growing coral polyps that exhibit. Thigmotropism, which causes growth in response to stimuli or when touching a solid object. Coral bridges grow in thick, twisted patterns that anchor into rocks or other coral, the underside covered in colonies of blue barnacles. Neat. Bullseye shroom. Bullseye shroom are harvestable fungi found growing near coral ridges. The mushrooms are notable for their thick, meaty caps. Ooh, meaty. These caps manage to produce a small amount of chlorophyll, which makes it capable of some photosynthesis. Photosynthesizing mushrooms? That's awesome. Oopfish. I want to scan a penguin. 
Where's the penguin? Penguins! I must scan you! No! Penguin! Bird-like creatures hunt small fish below the water, huddles in packs on the ice above, consumes small prey fish, and regurgitates them to its young. Retractable tail and claws allow for fast evasion. Sharp teeth concealed inside its beak can tear chunks out of aggressors and prey alike. Rad. Yeah. Love the little baby penguins. They're so cute. I don't remember these things. What are these? Twisted Mandrake. Twisted Mandrake grows in temperate coral zones. Its leafy canopy photosynthesizes the sunlight while providing shade to the bulbous structure underneath. What does the bulbous structure use? Is it like a root plant? Okay, I need to find more kelp. I need fiber! I know I don't mean like prune juice. <laughs> They're tasty. Quartz. Oh. Barnacles. Barnacle. See? Barnacles. Glowy, glowy barnacles. They look like goat eyes. Kinda, yeah. Ooh, what is this? What are you? An oxygen plant. The oxygen plant produces harvestable reserve of oxygen as a bioluminescent floating bulb. It's hypothesized that this attracts territorial air-breathing fauna, forming a symbiotic relationship that protects the plant from herbaceous oxygen. fish. Neat. Blueprint synthesized. Hell yeah. Ooh, see good fragment. I need two more of those. And I also need air. Get away from me. I see that sea monkey looking at my scanner. He wants to steal it. Not gonna happen, buddy. I saw an advanced life form with a cool scanner thing. Could end up replicating shit. I also want to see it. It's fair. Not a good plan. What if it has a knife? Well, I can't have a knife! <laughs> <laughs> but it's an advanced life form. <laughs> what if it has a super knife? We have, like, laser knives. I think I'll be fine. Okay. Oop. There's another sea glad fragment. So for those of you that have not played Subnautica, one of the main goals of the game for the core gameplay is finding pieces of technology. And you usually have to collect them in sets of three or two or sometimes five. Oxygen. Uh, in order to be able to make that piece of technology. Because there's a lot of crashed ships and debris and stuff on this planet. And they explain that, if you're unfamiliar with the first game, the reason for that is this planet was quarantined by an alien species. And uh, that alien species couldn't figure out how to cure... Um, speaking of aliens, who's talking to me? Yeah, isn't that... S that's not SOS. That sounds like a distress call. I thought it had to have too long. Three short, too long. Source of transmission depth calculated at approximately 200 meters. Two hundred meters down. There's a distress call, huh? Well, I need that oxygen tank if I'm gonna go down there for sure. Huh. 
Okay, I think I have enough to make the oxygen tank, so I should probably go make that my first priority. But anyways, uh, yeah, back to what I was saying. The aliens couldn't figure out how to cure the disease that was contaminating the planet. And uh, so they put it on quarantine, and they built a giant freaking laser on the surface of the planet that shot ships out of orbit when they got too close to it to prevent them from being able to spread the infection to other planets. It's fun. No. It was a really cool looking laser. It just looked like a big tower until it like started moving. It was in the first game, like somebody contacts you and they're like, hey we found you on the surface, we're gonna come around and pick you up. We we see the, the, the crashed ship and all this stuff and you're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get to leave. I'm gonna be saved. It's gonna be the end of the game. Yeah, and then like you're standing there at the, the rendezvous point where they want to meet up with you and you're staring at this big alien tower while you're waiting for him. you're like, I wonder what that is. So you're like trying to figure out what it does and everything and then it just like turns on and it's just like and it just like boom and just kills all of them. You're like, ah shit. <laughs> Definitely not getting off this planet anytime soon. <laughs> Okay, got my fiber mesh. Standard O2 tank. Yes. To your data bank. Oh. The standard oxygen tank can be upgraded. Oh, I need silver for that. Ooh, repair tool. Crystalline sulfur. Oh, I don't want to find that. Those are the bad things that I don't enjoy. Okay, it automatically equips stuff. I was wondering if it still did that. Okay, well, let's make use of my storage here. Okie doke. Let's restock on food and water. It's important to stay hydrated. Enough. I'm thirsty. Yay, now I can swim a lot longer and not die. What you talking about? You can't swim. Uh, yeah. That is true. I, myself, actually, uh, am a terrible swimmer. I guess to put it more accurately, I'm a terrible floater. I can't tread water. I can swim underwater. It's the keeping my head above water and uh, breathing part that's quite difficult. You're like Sonic. <laughs> I am, actually. Sonic the Hedgehog. New creature discovered. Okay. Collecting them resources. Lead. I need to find silver. Although, having some extra lead around is always a good idea. Okay, so now I should probably go try to check out what that distress call was after I replenish my food and water needs. Oh, hey, we have someone in chat. Yeah, it's it's uh Nekomini. <laughs> no, no, I'm pretty sure the second Sonic movie is not going to use uh that the original design. No. <laughs> well, we like the updated design and they worked hard on it and we appreciate it as a fan base. Yeah. It is supposed to have knuckles in it though. That has been, uh, for the most part, confirmed. Yep. Tails is supposed to be in it, too. That's what I said! Mm hmm. Miles Tails Prowa. 
Let's make some copper wires. These are handy to have around. Uh, I don't need air pumps or any of that jazz. And I can't make the sea glide yet. Okay. Off we go to brave new places. Okay, so there's the seawall. Or the iceberg, I guess. Since this place is so oh! icy. Resurgence of Uganda Knuckles means. Oh, absolutely. I've already been thinking about that one. <laughs> <laughs> How funny would it be if in the movie they they make Knuckles ask Sonic just like deadpan like just kind of looks at him and just goes but Sonic do you know the way? And just like stares at the camera for a second like you know like like they're acknowledging that like they made the joke. <laughs> hey, hey look! Hey look! They, they said the thing! <laughs> So I know I need to, f if I remember correctly, I gotta follow these, uh, whatever these big ridge things are. To where it goes deeper down. Kinda like in here. Ooh! Yes, this is good. So these are sea monkey nests. Oh god, exploded fish, no! Ah! 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 Get away! Fuck! Ah! I hate those things! You son of a bitch! Sea monkeys' nests are large, bowl-like structures made of packed sediment and plant matter. The sea monkeys use their wide, flat tails to pack the materials, make the nest, and uh, because of that, they end up putting parts of uh, some of the stuff that we need in there. And oh, there's a creature egg in there? I thought you were supposed to get crystallized sulfur from the explodey fish. I guess they changed that. That must only be in the southern re- Oh, shit, there's another one. Fuck me! Stay away! Seconds of oxygen. I have bigger concerns. My insides. Whew, explosions underwater would be nasty. Okay. Well, yeah, the water transfers concussive force better. Is that another exploding fish? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm scared of anything that looks like dark and round protruding out of rocks now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Arginite outcrop that has silver in it sometimes. Yes! Haha! -ha, got it. Okay, now I'm on the right track. Oxygen plants. So there's a lot of important stuff around here that I need to be looking out for and scanning. And I also need to make sure that I don't drown. Nekomi wants to know for hype for the Pokemon remake and Pokemon, quote, Breath of the Wild. <laughs> yes. What the hell are you? Uh, Whoa! I would, I would love to play the Diamond Pearl remake instead of the original, because I never played the original. Oh! That thing's cool looking. Warning. Boxing 100 meters. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm too deep. I'm gonna die. I'm in too deep. Okay, so there's a sea truck fragment. So I need those. Those are critical and essential for my survival. And I need to find an oxygen plant. Or just swim to the surface, I guess. That's what we're doing, since I can't find one. I'm having a little difficulty plotting a route, and it got dark out. Although, sometimes it's easier to see the oxygen plants at night, because they glow. Which is kind of nice. Glowy, glowy. But down here, there looks like in this big chasm, there's a few sea truck parts, so... If I can get enough of those... I was really chuffed to see the, the, the uh, sea truck for the first time. Oh, it's awesome! I love the sea truck in this game. It's... I don't know if I want to say that I think it's specifically better than the sea moth. suited for this game. 
Well, the thing that's cool about it is it's modular. So you can have, like, different parts on it. So you can, like, switch out the compartments and it. it's like a big bus. Which is really cool, in my opinion. What is that? Oh, you have teeth! Oh, you have teeth! Please do not bite me. What is that? Ooh, it's an egg. Probably the egg of that thing that has teeth. So I should stay away from it. <laughs> Undersea modular hippie van, Nicomese. Yeah, it kind of looks like a VW bus. I think he's just saying it's a hippie thing because it's us. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Ooh. What have we here? Oh yes, the rebreather. Oh my god. I am so lucky I just stumbled into that like a like a moron. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah, I'm going to die. I am way too deep to be f futzing around down here. I don't even think I can make it to the surface I've swam so deep. But if I find some oxygen plants along the way, <gasps> ooh, sea truck part. Oh, I shouldn't be doing this. I'm going to drown. <laughs> but I need it. <laughs> Of oxygen. You got an oxygen plant, so you might be fine. Just keep going up. No, what are you doing? I'm looking around for more sea plants. <laughs> I'm being stupid, okay? Once I get above 100 meters, though, my, my oxygen uh, doesn't drain as fast. But the deeper you go, the faster it depletes. So I have to be really careful. Seconds of oxygen remaining. That's why I need the rebreather, though. That's why I was lucky I found that, because that'll that'll allow me to maintain my oxygen levels at lower depths without having it deplete really fast from the compression. Okay. Well then, I can't see shit. I guess I could break out my flashlight. Ooh, that's a deep, dark hole. But I want sea trip. I'm just gonna go make that rebreather before I stupidly try swimming back down that deep again. That is not smart or wise to do. Kinda wish I could make the truck, but I'm gonna have to find parts for the vehicle bay to do that, which means I need more sea monkey nests. I think I remember where those are at, kinda, unless they moved them, which is entirely possible. Because it has been a long time since I've tried to mess around with this game. And they switched up a lot. Which I'm very excited to see what's, what's new. Of normal body horror. Yeah. Ooh, you can see like a, another planet moving over there. Need to make it back to my safety hole. an accurate word for this scenario. Is it not? I'm sorry, what's this about two people getting schwartzed through a two-inch hole? What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> Okay, to make the rebreather, I need... Ah, oh, crap, I need another silver. Crud. All right, I'll be right back. That's going to be hard to find. I thought you were physically getting up to get more silver. Yeah, I think I got some of my own room over here. Hold on a second. Peter agrees. Meow! High five. Thank you.
more time for Peter? I don't want to take him out of his nest. That's fair. He does look really comfy. If he gets up, though, he's going on the camera. Yeah, if he goes... I won't move him from the nest that's like blankets and stuff that we use, but I will move him from his hammock, which is just his hammock. Yeah. Okay, let's cook me up some paper. Mmm, delicious, delicious giant eyeball fish. So tasty. I guess when you're, you know, on an alien planet with nothing else to eat, you gotta make do with what you got, right? I would somehow find a way to just only subsist on saltines. <laughs> Yeah, if they had them. No, I, I would make it happen. Oh, I can make this. Uh, battery and lubricant. What about lubricant? <laughs> there is no lubricant. Only lubricant. Mm. Sounds like some motivational poster. Specifically that you would find at unnamed aerospace companies, maybe? Oh, yeah, yeah, don't remind me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. It's fine. Mm-hmm. Okie dokie. Mokey. Oh, I need a piece of copper. And then I need one of these. Lubricant. Battery. What and or who are you turning on? I I does batteries and lube denote that I'm trying to turn something on? <laughs> oh, we need a piece buzz, of titanium. Buzz. Yeah, right. <laughs> Well then, you know, I suppose that probably does do it for some folks. The Sea Glide is a personal transportation <laughs> device used for high speed free diving. High speed free diving! That sounds like a sport. <laughs> Doesn't that sound like some type of like extreme sport that we would have? <laughs> What'd you say? I was busy. Okay, Tonton sent me the account of the people, the person, North, uh, no, it was two people. The people sh slurped through two inches of space, so I was busy getting squeaked. Squeaked? Squeaked? S not squeaked. What's it called? Squicked. Yeah, squicked. Yeah. Fucking something people don't really say in Washington, but I learned from my eastern friends. They say it around here. Really? Oh yeah, I've heard that term before. I remember learning skeevy, and my friend was like, I think that's an eastern thing, because you've never heard it before. <laughs> so is this the one that I already, the hole that I already went down? Yes, it is. Okay. Well, darn. I've already, ex I've already spelunked down that way. I have to find another hole to go spelunk through. Cavernous reaches. But, uh... Um, what was it? Oh, uh, high speed free diving. Sounds like some type of extreme sport. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's just another sea glide fragment. I've already got enough of them. That's not what I need. I require silver! And. <gasps> Is that a bacon? Bacon? Bacon! <laughs> Light stick! I wasn't expecting undersea bacon. Not as cool! Ooh, first aid kit. That'll be good, you know, since I got my leg blown off by a frickin' exploding fish. Ooh, disinfected water. We're getting fancy over here. Pink narrow leaf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, what is this? Oh, it's electrical. I should probably not touch that. It's probably gonna shock the crap out of me. Oh, apparently the shrubbing was through two feet. Yeah. But it, it wasn't two feet by two feet. It was two feet by, at most, four inches. Ooh, a mineral detector. Yeah. Those can come in handy. 
A desk? We're learning how to build furniture today. New blueprints in the best part of me playing some not. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna freeze to death if I don't get out of here. Oh, back in the water where it's warm. Mer, then out there. Okay, so I do believe that I might be swimming in the wrong direction. Swimming around at the speed of... Not sound, not even close. Um, any more truck fret? Ooh, what is that thing? A crescent moon coral. That's cool looking. Crescent moon coral prefers to grow vertically, similar to a vine. The branching filaments connecting the crescent to the red stem contain tiny flagellum that pull in various micro... Or Ooh, it's a carnivorous thing. Wow. Warning. Passing 100 meters. Yeah, Oxygen shut up. Efficiency decreased. I know. I'm trying to find silver. It's down here. <gasps> what is that? Sea truck! New technology acquired. Oh! Ooh. You look like a base. Blueprint synthesized. People? Ooh, high capacity oxygen One. tank. Oh, oxygen oxygen <gasps> fabricator. And I'm gonna die. Swim. Swim for your life. Oxygen. Oh no, there's no oxygen plant around here. I'm dead. <laughs> That's okay. I got that blueprint for the high capacity oxygen tank, so that's important. First death. Ding. Yep. Yeah. Should I tally it on the paper? Sure. I'll do it. Once I, I get the truck, I'll probably be fine and die a lot less. So what did I lose? As you lose some stuff when you die. Uh, your nothing life, important. maybe? You don't lose your tools. Oh, I probably should have used the sea glide. Still getting back into the swing of things. Uh, what do I need to make that high capacity oxygen tank now that I know how to build it? Glass, titanium, and silver. So I need more silver. I need a whole bunch of silver. You know what? I know where I can find a lot of silver. It's a bit of a jaunt. It's a bit of a jaunt. Is it, uh, close enough to the surface? Uh, it is. I have to swim over a really deep area. I just gotta remember where it's at. It's gonna be out here somewhere. There's a little island with the radio tower on it. If I swim towards that, there's a bunch of, like, vents and huge crab monsters that'll try to kill me. And like a whole like surface base area, which is a big part of what I gotta do in the game. So I can definitely find some silver over there. It's just gonna take me a little bit to get there. I'm hoping I can see it. What is that? Oh, it's just an iceberg. It's so hard to see anything on this damn planet because the weather's always shit, though. But if I can get, I think I need about, like, probably, what, six pieces of silver? Roughly? If I can get enough of that, then I can build most of everything that I'm going to need. So I also need a compass so I can frickin' tell which direction I'm heading. Because I know I'm supposed to be going south, I think? You're telling her at this point in the future they just have compasses embedded in their head or some shit? Yeah. Oh, I think I see it. I can just barely see it. I'm getting close. Yep, there we go. There's the vents. Okay, so I'm in the right spot. I just gotta watch out for the big punchy crab guys. <sighs> I love 
the big punchy crab dies. <laughs> so do I, I think I, yeah, I got all the sea truck fragments, so I don't need those anymore. I could scan a big punchy crab guy when I find one. As long as I don't find those damn alligator monsters. Yep, there's one. Speaking of. Uh, your Hollow Knight friend randomly messaged me the other day and said something along the lines of Bite me, alligator daddy. Yeah, that sounds like him. He says random crap all the time. Apparently he says shit like that more often when he's just woke up. Which I can't blame him for, because I say weird shit to you when I wake up all the time. <laughs> Usually it's in the context of, hey, I had a dream, though. Yeah. You do say some pretty random stuff. Although, I've got to admit, this morning when I talked about putting a baby in a ho uh, hollow deck, that was just me. I didn't dream that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. Nekomi wants to know if you would you would rather get survival tools like a compass embedded into flesh or things like RFID cards. Compass. Would you be a boring person with no robot bits. Uh, I definitely want robot bits and uh, out of the the choices of robot parts, I will definitely take um, a compass over an RFID. Not really a big fan of uh, having RFID chips in my body. I think they'd be useful. Of Realistically, I'd probably get both, but if I had to choose, definitely a compass. Like, I just want extrasensory perceptions. Like, that's the main augmentation I want. Like, I have, like, no night vision, and one of the first things I want to do is replace my fucking eyeballs, so. Yeah, that'd be good. Oh, that means I'd have to think about what eye color I wanted. Purple. Uh, let's see here. The options are purple, gold, or, uh, red for me. What about silver? Silver doesn't show up well unless I change the color of my scleros. Yeah. Which, I'm not willing to go that far because I still want to look moderately friendly. <laughs> Part of why I'm probably... Psh, overrated. <laughs> Who needs to look remotely human? Hello, penguins. Oh, one of the things that's really awesome in this game, I'm, I'm pretty sure that they've kept it, is later on, uh, you get to build a, um, penguin robot. And then you get to guide it to the other, to the pe actual real penguins, and then you get to blend in to penguin society. Yeah, but isn't the point to have it blow up? No. I thought there was something you needed to get close to to get, like, tufts of fur or something, and you had to blow up. It doesn't blow up. It has a little grabby claw, and yeah, grabby they're, claw. Yeah, they're, they're giant bear monsters. Yes, I did know penguins have fucked up bones and are permanently doing squats. <laughs> Squatticles! Let's make it really easy to poop. They don't need a, a squatty potty. <laughs> or as I call it, the shitty city. Mm-hmm. Okay, now I can make that rebreather, and then I can start doing some more deep sea spelunking. You ever play spelunking? No. Because you're not interested or just haven't done it? Haven't done it. I should probably catch some fish to eat on my way back. All right, now we're gonna make that bigger O2 tank. No, get back here, son of a bitch. Let me eat you. I require nourishment. I love how the kelp bulbs glow. Those are red. They were, I think they're like yellowish orange. 
in the closer to the equator, but they're like deep red up here. I wonder if because I... there's less sunlight, they have like a deeper or like a lower light spectrum or something. How was it I ever played this game and didn't understand there was horror aspects to it? And how was I not creeped out? It's <laughs> a good question. I played it a lot too. I even played it in VR. It's so pretty though. It like I don't know. It only feels scary at points when you I, get. I mean, part of it, I probably just was so wrapped up in Minecrafting that I didn't get to those points. Yeah, it was a lot of building. Oh, GOG doesn't have a online version of Spelunky, huh? Well, how about that? Yeah, I heard that they're doing a, like a, kind of like what we originally wanted them to do for Final Fantasy VII. It's called Ever Crisis. Yeah, it's, it's just like a, a straight, like, one-to-one -one direct version of the game, no messing with it. Just updating the graphics, which is exactly what I wanted them to do. But the I graphics... They made a mobile, which, just put it on the Switch or something, dudes. I know, right? If it's gonna be a mobile game, but it's gonna be such a big deal, and it's gonna take so much space... Yeah. Put it, put it on a console that's really good for that, please. I agree, but I don't know that they will. Maybe they'll come out with a new portable PlayStation. They'll probably still be, like, on the PlayStation Store and stuff, too, though. I'd bet. Okay, so I need a fiber mesh. I think I needed a rubber. Right? No, I need glass. PlayStation Mini? Right? That I need rubber. Okay. What's this about PlayStation Mini? Are you talking about the PSP or something else? Have you heard of PlayStation Mini? Um... No, I'm assuming, I mean, they, PlayStation likes to make smaller versions of their consoles. They've done that in the past. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's not talking about, like, the, the uh, like PSP or something. Like, the handheld. Let me try and Google through this. Images. Oh, it just looks like a tiny PlayStation. Oh, yeah, the PS1 uh, re uh, retro console. That's what that is. Oh, this is the retro version? Yeah, it's like the, the NES Classic. Oh, yeah, if I haven't even heard of it, I imagine it did badly. Yeah, I imagine that will just have the uh, the original version of Final Fantasy VII on it, not the, not the updated version. Okay, so now... The only reason I don't want a PlayStation Mini is because they already redid Spyro. <laughs> yeah. And the other games I played on it were, like, uh, movie games, like Monsters, Inc. game, Atlantis game. Mm-hmm. Okay. Lights. You can make a deployable light stick. Is it just, like, a glow stick? <laughs> habitat builder. I don't have any habitats to look at yet. And sea truck upgrades, depth module, you enameled glass, and play stealing is. It's gonna be a little while before I can make those. Okay, so I got my upgraded O2 tank and my rebreather on. So now I can really b breathe for a long time in the in the water. So now we're really going to go do some spelunking, and we're going to try to get parts that I need to make the truck. Because you can't just make a truck. Delta Station Dock. Okay, so I found that. Oh, cool. It, like, remembers that location. Awesome. I think Delta Station's the radio tower island. I don't want to go messing around there. I, I could find out how to build a base once I go there, though. You know what would be a cool implant? Or radio. 
Oh, like in your head? Yeah. People have like paranoid delusions and stuff about that. Like having like radios like in their like radio receivers in their teeth and stuff. Okay, so I read a book called like um Oh, what was it? I always forget the name. It's called it's like a it's a year in the future is the name of the book. And so it's called like twenty four twenty or something like that. Okay. And in it, they have quantum computers mm -hmm. with AI in them. Rad. Um, that are just, like, in their head, like, just all the time. That sounds complicated and possibly dangerous. Uh, in the book, they addressed that, um, for one, I think the singularity happened with the voices in their head, so that's a little weird. <laughs> And that they had to, it was weird trying to keep secrets if you all had a computer in your head at all times, which is why I personally wouldn't have a computer in my head all the time. Yeah, that sounds very problematic. Okay, see now I can safely come down here because I have tons of air. Okay, well, let's explore around a bit. Yeah, more sea truck parts down here. I think Tonton is imitating the NSA when he says, We have decided we're tired of you sitting on the toilet. You go you don't get to shit today. Good luck. <laughs> That'd be really bad for people like me with IBS. Is that a South Park reference for the the TSA? The the toilet security agency? <laughs> also the AI that in that book was not in your brain. It was just a tiny, like a tiny little computer the size of like a thumbtack or something, and the speaker for it was in your ear so you could hear it. Oh, I'm hearing that distress call. Oh, it's blinking on the, oh, cool! It's blinking out the distress call on these panels. That's weird. It's that telling me to like follow it. Tech. It is alien. The alien is, is signaling SOS. They did. I. <laughs> what? I'm not gonna spoil it. Oh, the music's starting. I, mean, I already know some of it, but I'm still like. It's, it's almost like experiencing this for the first time because it changed so much. Yep, the music's kicking in. Something's about to happen. Hello? What is this? that I have found here. Don't go in the box. Oh, I'm going in the box. That's where they keep the kitty litter. Hello? Is someone there? Hello? Are we now? I made a typo, so I've decided whatever that voice is is named Anthony. <laughs> Who's this, uh, we referring to? You mean you don't have a physical presence? Are you one of them? An architect? Robot. <laughs> Mess with the crabbo, you get the stab. <laughs> yep. Altera. No, my equipment is a. Uh, <laughs> Fuck Altera! Those guys suck! Iron cubes! Ooh. This green mineral substance has no entry on the periodic table and an unprecedented ability to store huge amounts of ionic energy within it. Likely grown artificially, cubic appearance suggests it has been cut from a larger deposit and likely transported from Minecraft. Each cube contains the equivalent ionic energy of five kilotons of TNT. <laughs> That's a lot. Under the right conditions, the energy can be released in a controlled manner. Well, hello, Pater. Chunky boy. Chunky boy. Hey, Pater. Mm -hmm. 
Nice, Pete, indeed. Best Pete. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, large. <laughs> <laughs> Lightly used as batteries. Alien robot. This device is of alien origin, although its design is relatively simple. Purpose. It is a low level threat. Or er, right. low threat level. Its odds with the advanced technology apparently available to its designers suggesting that it was intended more to patrol alien facilities and repair damaged infrastructure than to deter invaders. Peter, what are you doing? He's getting up on the desk. Peter. Peter, get down. Peter. Oh yeah, this weird ray thing. Fast moving ray species, well adapted to low temperature environments. Two sets of wing like fins enable this ray to quickly change directions and accelerate. It's exclusively herbivorous assessment harmless. Let's jack some ion cubes. Ooh, cool. Five kilotons of TNT in my palm of my hands. That's not scary at all. <laughs> Don't drop it. <laughs> what? What's that kill switch thing called in Shadowrun? That's a big cube. How long have you been stored here? Oh, it's alive. Is it? It's talking to me. Okay. You just gonna transfer yourself into my phone? Didn't you say something about cybernetic augmentations? No, who's talking about the phone? The the, the PDA. Brace. Yeah, he doesn't go into your phone, though. I'm looking to the light. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> One of us. My fucking brain? It's not a phone, dude. <laughs> Get out. Oh, no. Does your kind perceive a boundary between cybernetic and organic components? Yes. yes. Not a component. <laughs> you sound angry. We will allow your moment to process. No, keep talking. <laughs> Explain what happened. Hello? Ah. Uh... Oh, now I've got an alien in my brain. It's not happening. I love the, the new voice acting, actually. Yeah. They did a good job with, with redoing the characters and stuff. Well, that happened. Crabbo. Crabbo. There's a, a Dark Souls 3 mod where you get a pet crab named El Crabbo. <laughs> Excellent. Eh. Eh. Skyrim. Skyrim. Success. <laughs> okay. Well. Found out what the distress beacon was all about. Now we're in distress. Hey, you know, at least the signal's resolved. Hey, I, I saved a life here. I Are you sure it's think. alive? As alive as Isaac is in uh, the Orville. I was actually going to ask you if you thought Isaac was alive. <laughs> yeah. You were clearly only using a small percentage of your brain capacity, so we recognized uh, excess storage. <laughs> so. No harm will come to you, we assure you. Your ability to function has not been impeded any more than you already are. <laughs> Do not be alarmed. It's like picking up a hitchhiker, but slightly more invasive. Mm, slightly? <laughs> <laughs> I 
just remember, madness doesn't always howl. Sometimes it's the quiet voice at the end of the day that whispers, Is there room in your head for another? Someone says you need to avoid getting galaxy brain thoughts. Galaxy brain thoughts. If I if I think galaxy brain thoughts, does that trigger something? It means that uh, one of you will be shoved out because there's not enough room. Oh, yeah. I almost got killed by an exploding fish. I almost got to make another tally map. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> it has been zero days since there was an accident. <laughs> I, I love the injury counter on Modern Rogue. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen it go above, like, 42. I always wanted to have uh, one of those injury counter things uh, at work, but they wouldn't let me have it. It said it has been zero days since this workplace has experienced a raptor attack. <laughs> have, like a Jurassic Park symbol on it or something. <laughs> I'm really mad they didn't let you have that, actually. <laughs> no, they thought it was uh, inappropriate. <laughs> was it not professional enough? Yes, that is pretty much their exact From wording. From what I gathered, no one there acts respectful and professional, so... Uh, their uh, interpretations of those words as a major company are vastly different than what you would think. There's a lot of things that we would consider very unprofessional that they have no problem with. Is it an age difference? Uh, part of it, yeah. It, a company is, you know, run by old people. Which, you know, as the rule of thumb goes, avoid... Okay, so now that I've got that out of the way, I need to probably make some food and water real quick. But beyond that, excuse me, I need to start looking for components for the mobile vehicle bay. Top priority. So I need to make that truck. Someone's calling me? We understand that this arrangement is what? Not powerful, You're not real. He just called me in my own brain. Why do you keep saying we? <laughs> well, we are a we now. One of us and all of us. We do not think of ourselves as individuals. Individuality is so so last century. <laughs> All and. I've been dying to meet a sapient space fearing alien up close, and you're telling me your name is Peter A. Freeman. My whole life I've been dying to meet a sapient space fearing alien up close, and you're telling me your name is Alan. <laughs> kind of sounds like Alan Rickman. He would have been a great voice actor for this character. Yes. Fine, absolutely. How do we get you out of my head? I have added the information to your data <laughs> Totally harsh in our hive mind vibe. Any idea where I can find them? <laughs> Just really chill with all this. Oh, I'm my own person. <laughs> One of us. One of us. All of us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, cat. Take a chill pill. I think he says no. <laughs> Clearly he says no. <laughs> Not having any of it today. Okie doke. Well, let's go see if I can find me some, uh, some sea monkeys. Oh, wait. I didn't build my compass. Aha. Wait. Yeah. So I need this and that. Ta -da! 
Hell yeah! Now I can tell what my bearing is. Okay, let's get oriented. So, Delta Station is south, not north. So let's go ahead north. Away from Delta Station. Go try to find me some sea monkeys. Maybe east might actually be a good way to go. Hoop fish. What are you? Frost an enemy? Frost an enemy grows in the underside of ice flows and icebergs. Enemy tendrils are covered in thin, stinging hairs that paralyze small fish and plankton that are bro- Oh, they're like jellyfish. Ooh. These tendrils should be trimmed to effectively harvest the edible heart. Oh, it's like an artichoke. <laughs> Underwater artichokes. Oh, cool. I can eat it. Tasty snack. Underwater snackage. Yeah. Ooh. Plus 20 water. Hell yeah, dude. Delicious and nutritious. Okay, let's see if I can find me a cave to spelunk down. What are you? Whoa, cool. Oh, it's a, it's a titan whole fish. I remember these. It's cool looking. A large, docile herbivore which emits oxygen and is defended by the small, aggressive symbiotes which accompany them. Uh-oh. That means something's trying to bite me. Give me your air. Hmm. I am completely under an iceberg right- oh whoa, part of the iceberg like broke off. Whack. There's a sea glide fragment, but I don't need that, I already have that. Well, they don't give you a ton of oxygen, but any little amount helps, that's for sure. Okay, let's restock on O2. And then let's head down and see what I can find down here. Toggle lights. Toggle map. Yeah, turn that thing on. Ooh, what are you? Oh, a grav trap. Those are kind of handy sometimes. You can catch a whole bunch of fish with them. Ooh, is that salt? Yes, salt deposit. Now I can make rations. Nico Mini wants to know if you would eat Gimpy Gimpy fruit with the hairs removed. Uh, is that like eating a kiwi with the skin on it? No, but the hairs removed. If the hairs get stuck into your flesh. It causes horrific pain. What does? I don't think I've even seen one of those. I have no idea what it looks like. I'll have to check it out. Uh, long story short, yeah, I'd definitely try it. I'll put anything in my mouth once. Even if there's a risk that you can have pain for two weeks? Sure. You've eaten that one puffer fish, haven't you? No, I'm not rich enough for that. Ooh, root pustules. Crap. Explodey fish. Okay, there's 
got to be some oxygen plants or some sea monkey nests under here somewhere. What is that? Oh, it's a sea monkey nest. What's in it? Nothing. Great. Well, that sure was helpful. Alright, let's replenish my oxygen and head back down here. That's the cave I gotta be in, for sure. Should probably also make some beacons so I can denote where these cave entrances are soon. So that's gonna be important later. Okay, let's go take a look down here and see if I can't find me something. Do 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 do. I found some root pustules, those are always handy. Okay, there's an oxygen plant. Aha! What are you? Yes, mobile vehicle bay fragment. How many more do I need? I need three, right? Yep, okay, so there's one. Shit. Laser cutter. That's handy. Kelp root. Sadly, I don't have a ton of time. Ooh, 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 hello. That's a lava vent. Be careful around those. Okay, there's another oxygen plant. Come on, I need more sea monkey nests. There's one. Propulsion cannon. I don't really need that. There's only like one spot in the first game you even like needed to use one of those. They can be fun though. More laser cutter. The one I really need is the mobile vehicle bays. Those are essential. It's so easy to get turned around down here. Come on. Just need two more. Come on, baby. Where you at? Show me the money. Oh, here's one. Looks like more laser cutter fragments. Yep. Hey, now I can make that. I'm gonna need that later, so might as well get that out of the way. New blueprint synthesized. You're damn right, new blueprint synthesized. Ah, nope, I've already got those completed. Damn it. Also, find those laser cutter fragments. I don't need those. <laughs> what is that? Whoa! Cool! Found an artifact! Well, yes. If you continue searching, I may regain some of my connection to the network, piece by piece. Okay. 
Okay, I've already scanned that one, it looks like. Just gotta keep looking around. Nope, oh, nope, that's going too far up. I don't want to do that. As long as I keep finding those oxygen plants down here, I can stay around for quite a while. With the rebreather and everything, I should be just fine down here. For extended periods of time. Ha! There's another piece of it. Just need one more. And I'm golden. Uh oh. Explodey boy. Get away. Okay. It's hard to tell if I'm going, if I'm backtracking or which way I'm going. <laughs> it's, everything looks the same down here. So confusing. But I know what I'm looking for is down here. I just have to find one more of those. I could care less about the dumb uh, propulsion cannon, but I definitely need that vehicle bay. Come on. Where is it? been around here a lot. God, I just hear those exploding fish everywhere. <laughs> it's a nightmare. <laughs> Come on, please. Just one more. Nope, I've already been that way. Damn it. place is so confusing. I might have to find another cave to go down, but I'm pretty sure what I'm looking for will be down here. And just There's like just one more. Having terrible luck, though. Arr. I'm gonna run out of batteries in this damn sea glide if I don't find this thing soon. That's the other laser cutter one. Well, yeah, I might have to look somewhere else. I think I've successfully found all the sea monkey nests in this cave system. Okay. 
Well darn. That's okay, there's other there's other cave systems that I can explore. Let's see, yeah, let's head back over towards this way. And let's see what else I can find. Grav trap. Ooh, what are you? <gasps> there it is! Yes! <laughs> Good job, blueprints. Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah, video games. <laughs> Stories of a horse getting into the plant and running off of a cliff? The, the fruit. Okay. <laughs> Took me a second there. Speaking of eating weird alien fruit. These are convenient to just kind of have laying around everywhere. Fully stocked. Okay. Now let's see what all components I need to track down to build the sea truck in that vehicle bay. Yeah. Really? Absolutely. And why do you say that? <laughs> oh, found another pattern. Hey, hey, hey. Ooh, granola bars. You're really making me want a granola bar. I might actually eat one. <laughs> Do we have any? Secretly, yes. Oh, it's just a plan for the beacon. I already have those. Beacon fragments. Bacon. Ooh, disinfected water. That's the good shit. I keep the granola bars right next to the tea so you probably looked at it a bajillion times before. Likely. What is up with this freaking glowy ice thing? That's whack. I can't scan it. Is it just an icicle? Underwater? <laughs> and glowy? Ooh, what are you? A brine wing. A medium-sized predator known to spit supercooled salt water to freeze its prey from afar. Wow. Leaves behind salt deposits. Okay. Sushi says stab the sus ice. <laughs> you know what? That's not a half bad idea. I will go stab the sus ice. That one just grew. Something's making those. Ow, it hurts! Okay, it stabs back. Unfriendly sus ice. Have at thee. Can't see shit, it's dark. But it's cool looking. I love all the bioluminescence. I'm gonna need a lot of titanium to make this stuff too. Lots of titanium, and glass, and oil, and various other substances. Okay. Let's see what... Oh, hello. 
phones. We just talk to each other. You do not find that primitive. We exist as data. We are all aware of each other's thoughts and needs. Scientific endeavors are accomplished much more smoothly this way. There's more to life than research, Alan. I can't lie. Work would go faster if I could read my colleagues' minds, but that's not how it works. Are private, and people have their own inner lives. <laughs> Yours aren't anymore. <laughs> Sounds like the call of from StarCraft. I am now a lone stream in search of familiar harmonies. I'll help you find them. Well, that's awfully, awfully nice of you for the invasive brain freaking <laughs> thing. Oh, yeah, I got salt. Now I can cure some food, so I have rations. Cured food lasts a lot longer, doesn't go bad. Okay. Uh, deployables. So I need a computer chip, lubricant, and a titanium ingot. Ignot. Bacon! Use beacons to mark traverse territory. Show or hide the signals of your choice with your Zenworks ADP. Okay. Now it's surface support. So. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is it still ten or is it less now? It's five. Okay, so it's half. So let's just go ahead and make some ingots. I don't know what those make. <laughs> we'll find out later, I suppose. And I need a computer chip. So I think... Let's see, what do I need for a computer chip? Computer chip, copper wire, gold, and table coral. Okay. So I gotta go find some coral. I do believe I know where to find that. Over there where I found Alan... There should be some coral that I can harvest. Hopefully. If I don't get eaten by a shark. Or some other various thing. Uh, I should probably, if I see some creep vine, I should grab some of that too, because I'm going to need some lubricant. Got to lube it up. 90 pounds of space lube. There's some coral. Okay, got my coral samples. Looking good. Oh, I should scan this thing. Oh man, I can learn how to make windows. Please don't be a uh, Windows Emmy. Or Vista. Look dangerous. I'm gonna scan you. A brute shark. Don't bite me. Don't bite me. Stop it. Stop it. Calm down. 
Bada boy! Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Ugh. Hey, it's daytime. How about that? Okie dokie, I can now make computer chips. From coral, apparently. <laughs> Is that what we use for the circuit board, I'm guessing? Doo doo. And they have like the Jaws theme playing in the background when those sharks get close. Necromania is back and wants to know if they call them computer crisps in the UK. Computer crisps. <laughs> yes, I'm fairly certain that is 100% accurate. I might have to actually buy some crisps at the store next time we go. I, I really want potato chips. Mm hmm. And I want deep fried chips. Which are French fries. You can just make French fries. I need I need fresh potatoes. Unfortunately the potatoes that I have yeah, uh, have I gone to root. I, I agree with your assessment we should get less potatoes at a time. <laughs> That's what I was doing, but I figured I it's would like use a risk. Them. Yep. They were really cheap on bulk. I just didn't need to eat that many potatoes. The Irish in me is sad. Okay. Let's get down to business. To defeat the crabs. I have been able to sense the location of an important artifact. I will share really? the coordinates so you can look into it. Okay. Thanks. Uh buddy. Signal location uploaded to PDA. That's uh awfully thoughtful of you there, uh Alan. Oh, I need copper. Computer chip! Okay. Spiral plant clipping and ruby synthetic fibers. Hmm. A little lubricant. And now I just need one of the ingots. And then, once I get that set up, I can figure out what I need to make the truck. Yes! Mobile vehicle bay, it's happening! <laughs> Hell yeah! Okay, where should I set it up? Probably, like, right around here's a good spot for it. Okay. So I need an ingot, advanced wiring kit, two glass, three lead, and a power cell. Ooh, boy. Okay. Advanced wiring kit and power cell. Let's see if I can make those. No, no, no. Stop it. Bad. Get back in the pod. So I need another computer chip and a wiring kit. Okay. Doop, doop. Doop, doop, doop. Okay. 
Got it. Okay, for power cell, I need two batteries and rubber. Oh no. I need to go harvest some of those um, thingamadoos. Who's the what's it? Yeah, those. I need those. And I should also cook one of these fish. I need more ribbon plants. That's what I, that's what I need. Ribbon plants. That's the word I'm looking for. Okay, those should be relatively easy to find. I, think I need four. One. Two. Boop, boop, doop, boop, boop, doop, 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 doop. Three. A four. Okay. Do I have three pieces of lead? I didn't check. <laughs> I hope I do. I found some. I know I have some. Watch, I'm gonna be like one short. Damn it! Nope, I got three. Yes! Two, three. Take that. Take that. Need the last of my copper. And then I need glass. Oh, I am one quartz short. Son of a biscuit. Why you gotta do me like that, game? Okay. Battery. Oh, and I might need rubber as well. Nope. I've got rubber. There we go. Got the power cell. Wow, that is quite large. So, yeah, for the truck, I have pretty much everything that I need, except for one more piece of glass. Cool, so I just gotta go find a quartz crystal. Those are just kind of all over the place randomly. Yay, casual exploration. Dum -da -dum -da -dum. Then we'll go check out that uh, radio tower once I get the truck. I think that's a good idea. Get some scans, maybe make a fabricator, start building the base. All good deals. Making progress. I like base making. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. A lot of resources. Speaking of which, I should probably start stocking up on metals again. Since I'm out and about. Out and about. Hopefully I can find a battery charger soon. I'm gonna need one of those. Red wart. Creep thine. Crap. I hate those exploding fish so much. They suck. Uh, yes, they do indeed make shampoo for defeating crabs. That is an accurate statement. Killing crabs in the ocean. Kill it fast. New blueprint synthesized. If you haven't watched Dragon Ball Z abridged, that will not make as much sense. Bye.
It's it's the 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 crab killing montage when they go to find all the dragon balls and then they have to fight a bunch of giant crabs in the water on an alien planet. Hello. These look like people's phones. Sea truck logs. What was Altera doing here? Okay, I'm going to have to get up to where I can get some air and then read those. Okay. Uh, Nagomi says the crab jokes remind him of thinking it's weird that we have lice checkups in school. Do you not? You had lice checkups in school in like elementary school, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. I remember hating being underneath that light. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, let's see here. Logs and communications. Disciplinary meeting. Fred, great to see you. Great to see you, Fred. You don't mind if I record this, do you? Uh, am I in trouble? <laughs> no. You know me. Just a fanatic for details. And my memory's not what it used to be. <laughs> I know what that's like. Yes. Is that why you've been running so many personal errands for your colleagues? We asked you to limit them. Uh, so I am in trouble. That's not how I want you to look at it. Here's what I see. You're a team player. You want to get the job done. I think I have a pretty good record there. You want people to like you. Has anyone complained? Fred, the trouble is, not everyone is as reliable as you are. Sometimes people need help being where they need to be and concentrating on their work. All the trips were work-related. It appears you transported tech for Lil rather far out from her base. Lil needed to go deep, and she needed a sea truck. Her work is currently on surface installations. She shouldn't be anywhere near the water. I, uh, well, I uh oh, Fred, friend. what'd you do? Yes, sir. <laughs> ah, I keep telling you. Call me Manu. Manu. <laughs> That's a new character. Damn ugly thing followed me into the shallows. The thing Ow! Like that big would follow me up here. Had a jettison the sea truck. Again. Uh, I guess I Ah, Fred, you're the reason why all these sea trucks are down here. <laughs> if it leaves. I really don't want to sit in another meeting with a manual. Good job, Fred. Manu, as he likes to be called. Uh, I just want to drive around and deliver cargo and Some Altera employees who were previously here, it looks like. Mm, lots of minerals around here. That's handy. Lots of mobile vehicle bay fragments as well. Oh, inventory's full. Okay, time to head back. Okay, now I get to make a sea truck. Ha 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 ha! I shall be the master of the seas. In my space truck. You seem very engrossed in what you're doing over there. I have a hard time with just watching a screen these days. That's fine. Oh no, I'm not. I'm not complaining about that. I was just, I was just commenting on the fact that you seem you know, like you're entertained over there. I was more curious what you're doing. I'm playing a game called Dicey Dungeons, where you turn into a dice to try and fulfill your ultimate wish. Of rolling an at twenty. It's it's d six. Oh, well. Your ultimate wish depends on the character you're playing. The first character you unlock is the warrior. The second is a thief, and then it gets weird from there. Third is a computer, and the fourth is an inventor. Haven't gotten the fifth yet. Hmm. There's like eight characters, I think. So basically, like different storylines. Yeah, there are different storylines. And every time I've played so far, there's been a different intro. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and make this their glass. Whoop. 
Hell yeah. And let's make another ingot just to kind of clear up some inventory space here since I've used a bunch of these. It's always good to have a backlog. Sushi wants me to communicate that canonically the ones on the dice are the buttholes. The I haven't run into this yet. The name for the little divots in the dice? No. In in the game Dicey Dungeons where you turn into a dice? Oh yeah. At the bottom with the one is your asshole. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Yeah. That would be true. Okay, did I make a bottle of lube yet? I don't see it up there, so let's go ahead and make one. Okay. And there we have it, folks! All the necessary components to build me my own personal truck. To traverse the wide oceans. Need some water. You know what? I might wait for better weather, because it's going to be really hard to see it get made, and I kind of like to look at that. So, let's look at my recipes here. Can I make first aid kits? Oh yeah, play steel. Do 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 do. Bioreactor. Ooh, I already know how to make a battery charger. Awesome. Okay. Cool. Architect components. Whoa. That's getting advanced. Oh, I didn't need the lubricant to make that. Well, whatever. Now I can. I need wiring kit and a computer chip for the habitat builder, but I need to learn how to make more of a habitat. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, that's what I thought. I just need fiber mesh to make those, so let's... While we're waiting for the sun to come up, let's go collect some fiber mesh. Dark and spooky down here. Do not want. <laughs> it's okay, I have a flashlight. It is not collecting the plant. Why is it not collecting the kelp? Cutting the damn plant. Oh, there we go. I guess those ones just didn't count. Hey, get away from me! Fuck off! Fucking sea monkey tried to take my knife. Actually, I think he was trying to offer me a piece of titanium. I'm in the best shelter imaginable, the ocean. Oh, cool. I like how you can see the hail like falling down to the surface of the water and melting. That's whack. That's some big hail. I think it hurts you if you like go above the surface when it's hailing like that. Yeah, I can make first aid kits now. Those are very useful. Oh, 
Okay. Looks like the bad weather stopped. And now, you want to watch me make the truck? Truck! <laughs> Create my truck! God, I wish I could make a car this easy. Sploosh! Oh, cool music change. Aww, oh, man. Ew. He's so tiny and cute. Genshin Impact? Is that happening right now? Oh, jeez. Okay, so we got an architect artifact to go check out, so let's go cruise on over there and go look at it. Why don't we? Because now we can travel in style. So we're going to go check out this artifact, and then we're going to go hit up the island. And then I'm probably going to make a habitat builder. Build me a base. So this thing can go down only 150 meters currently until I upgrade it. And that's probably going to be a bit deeper, but it'll get me most of the way there. Bonk. Hmm. can't exceed its crush depth. Alright, we'll leave you here. And then we'll embark. Oh! Sharks are coming after me! Fuck off! Jeez, sharks, exploding fish. Is there anything else horrible down here that they can subject me to? Get some tentacle monsters while we're at it. Just leave me alone. Uh, okay, this cave system does not appear to connect. So I may need to go a little bit further over. Maybe I should try to get like directly above it and then go down. That might work better. Usually works better. Better not be biting my truck. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, so it's over that way. So let's go up and over around here. Let's see if I can get more directly situated above it. There's those weird alligator platypus things. Ah, yeah, it's probably going to be down around here somewhere. Through there. That makes a lot more sense. Whoa, hello. Fuck off. Please. Hot, 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 hot. Don't particularly care for lava vents. Ow, it burns! Can I get past you? Probably not. It's hard to see if there even is a way past it. Ouch, 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 ouch. Oh, I died. Fuck. <laughs> okay. I'll grab a drink. Oh, it respawns me in my truck. That's convenient. That's new. Usually it spawns you back at your base.
Uh, I'm starting to think that artifact might not be down there in the lava vent, but it kind of looks like it is. I just don't see any way to... Like... Go anywhere down here. It looks like there should be like a cave tunnel somewhere, but there's not. Huh. Did I lose anything? Yeah, probably. Oh well. Let's look elsewhere. Is that just a sea truck fragment? What is that? Yeah, okay, I don't need that. Maybe there's another crevasse. Ooh, what is that? Nothing. Okay, that's just a weird divot. Oh, I dropped my beacon down there. God damn it. Dang, nabbit. Now I gotta go get my beacon back. Give me that. No, I don't. I, I want to pick it up. There we go. Thank you. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, I'm getting out of this damn lava vent. That shit hurts. Strongly disapprove. Okay. We need to go to the docks. Yep, Delta Station dock. There we go. Hey! Look at us. Civilization! <gasps> Coffee machine! Ah, glad to be about that excited too. Most important piece of technology. Ooh, a trash can. Ah, oh, benches. Hell yeah. Look at all this cool Blueprint stuff I'm finding. Is a recorded message. Uh, hello? This, you're trespassing. If you know it's good for you, you'll get the hell out of here. I can't. Thermal lily. The thermal lily is an unusual terrestrial plant typically found on a cliff walls. During the day, it points its face towards the sun, absorbing thermal radiation and storing it internally. At night, thermal lily's petals close to reduce heat loss, and it relies on its heat stores to survive in the harsh Arctic conditions. Got it. Hey, nice communications tower. Do 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 do. Gotta get to the communications tower. Crystallized sulfur. I need that. Oh man, there's bunches of it in here. Hell yeah. A shrub nut. Excuse my what now? Shrub nuts. Can I eat them? Are they like... Yeah, shrub nuts. Are they like crack nuts? <laughs> it's just some weird plant. <laughs> Gotta get them shrub nuts. <laughs> Wait. What is... Did I scan the shrub nut? Yeah, horseshoe shrub. The horseshoe shrub is a terrestrial plant that thrives in warm conditions. Visual identification is easy due to the thick crown of leaves on its bifurcated trunk. 
trunk has a thick, fibrous core that stores water for its fruiting body. Fruit can be harvested and planted. Could be a sustainable food source. Hell yeah. Eco-friendly. Ooh, look at all this stuff. Ooh, mineral detector fragment. More crystalline sulfur than I know what to do with. It's good to stock up on that. And a PDA. Logs and communications. Manual gave me this jailbroken scanner tool. Things that I need more shower heads. This should lead you to the necessary minerals. What? He told me to keep it on the lowdown. I guess this is what a master's cert cert certificate in applied geology gets you these days. Job as a glorified construction worker. Ugh. Should have studied interstellar law like Dad said. I have to hand it to Emmanuel, though. I don't know what he did to the scanner, but it does a great job at zeroing in on specific minerals. It's better than hoping I stumble across the right outcroppings. Or you could just, I don't know, study your environment and learn where they naturally occur. No, we couldn't do that. Yeah, I'm taking all this crystalline sulfur. And I'm never going to have to worry about collecting that again. Uh. Ah! Stop right there, Altera. You're out of bounds. I'm not with Altera. Holy shit! Then your position is doubly Margaret? Precarious. What do you mean? If you're telling the truth, you're out of your mind. If you're lying, there'll be hell to pay. Wait! Who are you? Stay off. My land. Nice prawn suit. Highly modified. Okay. Hi, Delta Station. The woman in the exosuit has been traced as far as my technology will allow. In the future, I hope you will avoid contact with the woman in the exosuit. <laughs> the last of a dying civilization. If you would Ooh, scanner room. The species could go extinct. What makes you think she's hostile anyway? Yeah, what do you think? Grumpy, maybe, but who wouldn't be stranded out here alone? She did not respond to my distress call. And she is well armed. Maybe she's afraid of us. I Could be. To find out. <laughs> Alan's like, don't get murdered by the by the lady. Ah, oh, cool. <gasps> Jukebox! Hell yeah! Listen to soothing tunes by Altera's best musical artists. So excited. Oh man, bar tables? New blueprint synthesized. Chairs? Ooh, office chairs. Even better. New blueprint synthesized. Alien intruder, more like Last alien time, cheater. I'm not cheating. Then what's your theory? What's going on? If you ask me, Zeta's been blinking a lot. I think it's a tell. He does have a point there. It's allergies. Allergies? Oh, is something in bloom in this frozen sector? Thermal lilies. And if you gang up on me, I swear you're all fired. <laughs> you're not even my boss. Oh, you're all so gullible. You're fighting each other. Meanwhile, look at Parvin. <laughs> Just look at him. What am I doing? I'm not doing anything. Let's just take this to a vote. All those who think Zeta's allergies are a bad case of alienitis, say... Alienitis? Intruder. Uh, intruder. Intruder. Danny? Oh, I'm just an observer here. Sus. I'm going to use my pass. Is there some kind of scientist conspiracy going on here? Zeta, Sam, Danielle, you three are suddenly very aligned. Or, like I said, Parvin is cheating. I'm starting to wish I was cheating. So they were up here playing poker. <laughs> what else are you gonna do on an alien planet? Apparently, in a Digimon game for the PS One, the jukebox would hard crash the game hundred percent of the time. I think I remember that. I played that that Digimon game. Digimon World. Yeah. Ooh, an Altera map. Can I scan that? Altera facilities map. Ah, oh, cool! Now I always have that available. Okay, so Delta Station, 
Mission HQ Communications and Logistics, the Fee Robotics Center, Outpost Zero, Copa Mining State Site, and Omega Lab. Do you read uh, college fraternity symbols? I know Delta is the triangle, Omega is the horseshoe. What is Phi and Kappa? Feels like a circle with a line on it. I don't know about Kappa though. Okay, yeah, the robotic center's over there in the ice. So outpost zero must be the purple one. So the mining station's that red one then. Okay. Oh yeah, messages from my sister. I should listen to some of these. Robin. A map will come in handy. I should be able to find my way to buy robotics where Sam worked. Oh, another PDA. Communications tower maintenance lock. Another day, another slight by the winged furies. As usual, I got an interference alert. As usual. I went out to see what the problem was. As usual, it was frozen stalagmites of feathered bird excrement. <laughs> I fear the career impact of saying this officially. If you can even call what I have a career. But I could swear they're targeting me personally. The week I was out with the flu, I came back to find the tower spotless. Parvin laughed at me when I asked him how he cleaned it. Silly me. As if Parvin would ever clean anything. Ah, oh, dude, a modification station. Hell yes. But I know that's what the birds want me to do. Wow, this guy's fucking oh, crazy. And I got the tower up and running. The birds are plotting against me. It's the birds. Ha! He thinks birds are real. It's not without nonsense. Jenny, you wouldn't <laughs> believe the adventure I'm having. It's just like when we were kids. We used to play underwater city. Only. Sea monsters. Well, you bribe the birds. I don't need to hide behind you when one swims by. Because I'm safe in my sea truck. Safe and very, very brave. Please really? Yeah, me. very, very brave. Thanks so much for the mustache kit, by the way. To be honest, I wasn't sure if it was a gag gift at first. Personal grooming is something of a challenge here. And as you know, I'm a pretty low maintenance guy to begin with. But you'd be surprised how handy mustache wax is in an emergency. There have been Must some close scrapes. For a while there, someone was sabotaging my truck, and I thought I was seeing things. But my friend Sam helped me sort it out. Although, she's had some troubles of her own lately. To be honest, I get a little worried out here sometimes. But I guess that's normal, under the circumstances. Gotta expect a little risk, right? I should be happy. I have great friends and a good paycheck. Anyway, love you, Jenny and Dad. Please find a way to tell him that he won't find embarrassing. And don't worry. I'm looking for the perfect fish to bring back as a... Cushy setup. Must belong to one of those higher uppers. Yeah, Manuel seems like he was the, the manager. Clues about Sam here. You mean Manu? Yeah, Manu. <gasps> it's like an anti-grav one of those thingamadingers that people have on their desks. No one's cradle? Yeah, Newton's Cradle. Red. I'm not fit to walk right now. I have to cut you off. Good morning, Frostpack. Uh, I guess just a I quick just update to inform you of some aquarium. achievements and priorities. Like a proficient. We need you all to get behind. The Spy Penguin project was a resounding success. Please join Spy me in Samantha IU, who is now reassigned to Outpost Zero, helping us dream of future initiatives. Congratulations are also in order for Daniel Valenti and her team at Omega Lab. The closing of Phi Robotics means important funds can be redirected to their Kara bacteria study, which has important, positive implications for the life sciences. You're all doing an exceptional job, and I don't want to promise anything, but HQ has been taking notice. Keep up the good work. <gasps> and I think we can start discussing bonuses soon. A pot! Sam really got under management skin. I know she had it in her. <laughs> David, you'll be happy to know. David. Frostpack is making excellent progress. That guy sounds like a jerk. I must say, 
My management style appears to be uniquely well suited to isolated planets. I miss you, of course, but I wonder if you feel it too. Yeah, Emmanuel does sound pretty sus. We're almost. I think he's probably responsible for what happened here. Prosperina did in her last show. I'm sorry I couldn't be there to see it, but I'm sure if I'd been around. I hope he didn't do something bad to my sister. Once this mission is over, I'll come home for a few good months. Because this whole base is abandoned. Where'd they all go? Something happened. Our expectations to facilitate longer-term separation success. I really think this could be a great model for us going forward, romantically and otherwise. Don't forget, I love you from the depths of my heart. Keep on succeeding in your projects. You know there's nothing I find more attractive. Okay. A little creepy. Okay, so here's the communications tower. So I know in the early versions of this game, this was like the main goal is to repair this thing. Tower maintenance log. Okay, this time the birds have really done it. I don't know what they birds. Believe, but it's corrosive when Some it comes out the other end. I'm gonna need to rewire. I'm short an element to fabricate the right cable. I remember seeing some when I did that dive to the old ship. I'm gonna go out there and see if I can get some more. Old ship, huh? Okay. I should fix it. Maintenance status in progress. So I gotta find the old ship that he's talking about to get whatever parts to fix this thing. Yeah, status report. Two active human life forms detective, unauthorized habitat construction and vehicular activity detected. Recommendation observe and prepare for possible intervention. Why well, won't it go into test mode? Is this thing still busted? It kind of looks like it's working. Test override module port. Okay, this is new. Uh. I don't think I have whatever that needs. Oh, I'm freezing to death. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I need to go find that ship. Which means I need to make a laser cutter. I got the truck. I also need to make a repair tool so I can fix my truck. This is going to get damaged. But I got the crystalline sulfur that I needed. I do not have diamonds, and I want some of the... Oh no, my inventory is full. Crud. Uh, drink some water. Got all these posters and random things. Oh, I still have a shrub nut. Okay, let's take a shrub nut with me so I can plant one later. So that way I can have my own sustainable food source on my little base that I'm going to end up building. So I need to build a fabricator, a laser cutter, and a repair tool now. Shrub. Shrub nut. Don't touch the heat plants, they hurt. Oh, cool! It's like a sulfur hot spring. Ooh, it's warm. Ah, relaxing. Bit of a concerning color. Eh, you know, it probably smells like rotten eggs, but you know what? Who Beggars can't be choosers. Yeah, I'm not picking up that beacon. That's a, that's a very useful beacon to have. Alright, back into the truck. Back to base. If I can get in my truck. <laughs> Let me inside you! There we go. So where should I build my base? Should I build it next to... Uh... Hello, platypus monster. Uh, should I build it next to the drop pod? Should I build it in the kelp forest? <coughs> I don't want to build it next to the platypus monsters. I 
so you should have a nice place in the woods or forest of kelp. Okay, yeah. So, like, build it kind of like in a kelp area. Oh, I do have a brain phone call. How do I answer that? You do not trust all Terrans, but your sister was all Terran. I sense this caused you distress. I think I might understand. Do you? Okay. I feel like he should just automatically talk. I shouldn't have to tell him to talk. Oakley Doakley. Whoop. Let's see what I can make now. Okay. So. Ooh, I can build a thermos. Insulated storage receptacle for beverages. Oh, is that for coffee? Oh, I could put hot coffee in a thermos and then I can have, like, mobile heat. Huh. Yeah. Okay, so I need wiring kit, computer chip for the habitat builder. Diamonds? I don't have any diamonds. I'm gonna have to find some. I can build that. So let's build the repair tool. Just need some rubber. Nice. Okay, wiring kit and computer chip is for the habitat builder, so let's get that going first. Uh, so, let's deposit some of this stuff. Let's get the shrub nut in there. <laughs> Wait, there's a Ned Flanders themed metal band? Oh, absolutely there is. You haven't heard him? Oakley Doakley, neighbor. Neighborino. Neighborino. Oh, yeah. The Ned Flanders metal band is amazing. I'll be right back. Hey, Peter. the uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, metal band. That one cracks me up. Okay, so I need gold. Crap. Gold! Gold! Okay. I can do this. I can go get some gold. And maybe some diamonds. If I'm lucky. So, I probably should have grabbed some of that. Well, I mean, my inventory was full, so I didn't really have the option. Let's head back out towards Delta Station. That around there, sometimes you can find... I know, I mean, you can find gold and silver easily. And I think I might be able to find some diamonds as well. If I go to the east of the island, I can find some diamonds. I know I can find lithium. Wait, wait lithium? Like the bipolar mess? Well, yeah, it's also the stuff that you use to make batteries and reinforce metal. 
in this game. Aha! There's some gold. So I got the gold for the computer chip. I'm gonna leave the titanium alone. So here is some lithium. Yeah, lithium's just a just a, a metal, technically. It's like a really soft metal, I think. I should probably be trying to find silver as well. There we go, there's some silver. I think there's diamonds around here. You know, diamonds are usually around like high pressure heat areas, I think. I didn't see any towards that one vent, but they should be somewhere in this vicinity. So let's see, yeah, I've got some silver and some gold, so I can make some of what I need. Just gotta be on the lookout. Kind of strafe around to the side here. I have a beacon as well I can place. So maybe down here might be able to find some diamonds. Whatever this is, I'm not sure. Ooh, uh, I'm not finding diamonds, but I'm certainly finding something. Yeah, sure, Alan. Mineral distillery? G acquired. Structures this device's internal scans indicate its likely utility in processing and extracting minerals out of the water. Oh, wow, that's cool. The device is engineered to suck water into a superheated primary chamber as the water boils, steam is forcefully condensed back into a separate chamber that releases the processed water back into the ocean. The minerals that are left behind are gathered in the attached container module. Can I open it? Is that the container module? Or does it not work anymore? I feel like it should, like, be giving me some minerals. <laughs> you know what I mean? What kind of minerals does it make? Oh, wait, what's this? Is that a diamond? What was this? <gasps> I found a- Ah, oh, I found a diamond deposit! Hell yeah! Yeah, boy! Lucky! Alright, let's get back to the truck before I drown. Twack! <laughs> Twack! It's fun to say, isn't it? Uh-huh. Well, my, my one buddy, that's, uh... When, when we were very young, and he was learning how to speak, uh, he used to call trucks, uh, Frux. And, uh, kinda shocked his parents at one point when uh, he screamed out when they were, you know, out walking around uh, that he saw a fire, uh, fire fruck. And it uh, sounded like he said fire fuck when he was looking at a fire truck. <laughs> They're making more Scorpion King movies? No. What, is, what else is there to make? Is there even anything left to that storyline? seen one of them, but I think that was enough. I mean, I'm not going to say like the original one was a bad movie. I thought it was pretty cool, but... It wasn't cool enough for sequels, though. <laughs> this is more excuses to put the rock in a movie, I guess. You know, I really can't fault putting the rock in movies. Mm-hmm. Can you smell what the rock is cooking? Apparently, only the first two had the rock, which is even more unfortunate. Yeah, I think that, that, that sounds right. Okay, what am I doing here? Okie doke. Tools. You're fucking with rocks. 
Yeah, th that's true. Objectively. So, I need to make laser cutter and habitat builder. So, I need <sighs> batteries. Okay, let's go find some ribbon plants. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Like tape brand ribbons? No. So just I don't know why I thought of that first before, you know, hair ribbons. Yeah. I own one of these things and not the other. I need electrolytes. It's what plants crave. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the world's basically idiocracy anyways at this point, so, you know, might well, as well. Hold on. Sushi, <laughs> what are the movies where they kept out what with tape? Phone signal ghosts? Does that comment make any, any sense to you there, John? Uh, maybe? Okay. One battery. Two battery. Battery! Wiring kit. Okay. Am um, I gonna need more f fan dangled coral? Probably. Okay. Let's make the laser cutter so I can get into the, sh the ship. Hell yeah. Okay. So now I just need a computer chip. I need one gold and two coral fragments. Looks like I'm going digging. Oh, no, I've got him right there. Ah! Yes! Yeah! Oh, I need copper wire. Oh, crap, I need copper. It's always something. That's okay. Copper's easy to find. I'm just putz around wherever and find it. Probably use some more titanium while I'm at it, too, because I'm going to be building a whole bunch of stuff. Nope, that's lead. Do, 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 do. Music track for this is really good. There's some copper. I'm going to need a whole bunch of copper. Four more. Uh, I'll hold off on harvesting the quartz. I will need some glass, because I like to have windows in my base. You know, you got to make it visually appealing. I'm going to need a whole bunch of titanium. Hello? Copper? Copper wiring! I don't need any more of that right now. I just want one more piece of copper. And I'm actually going to need more because I'm going to need to build solar panels. Come on. Quit dicking me around. There we go. I have some copper. Whoa. Look at that weird glacial growth. Well, that's kind of neat how, like, the screen, like, the visuals, like, get all skewed when you're, like, coming through the surface of the water. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> that's a weird visual trick. I've never seen that before. That's whack. <laughs> There's some more copper. I should probably drink some water. I'm a tad bit thirsty. Why are you so elusive, Cobber? That was 
the sound. There we go. One more. Oh, that's lead. That's titanium. There we go. Bing bang done. Okay. Whew. I'm gonna build a base. You excited? I mean I have posters and everything. Well now I'm excited, now that you have posters. <laughs> posters are definitely a thing in this game. I love like superfluous shit like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gotta collect all the posters. The plot was ghosts into the electrical signals, so they had to block out cell phone signals with tape over cracks in doors and windows. The new Ghibli movie? Huh. Really? Studio Ghibli did that, huh? I think that was he saw the, the plot thing he was talking about, Pulse. Oh, okay. Pulse. Yeah, I haven't heard of that. So what's the new Ghibli movie, then? Why does it look iffy? Emergency shelter blueprints to your data bank. Yes. With you can construct sea bases from raw materials, advising against exploring a frozen water continent without a base. No bed, no storage, no place to put a fabricator module. No fun. Right? You are one hundred percent correct, computer lady. Oh yeah. Okay, so let's find a suitable location for our base. I need a very wide open area. So I can build it near Kelp, which would probably be a decent idea. Because the Kelp I will need for various substances. Ow! What the fuck? Something beat me! Ooh. There's kind of a nice big open area here. This could work. It's not really that close to the kelp, though. I think aesthetics matter more. <laughs> I'm looking out the window all day! Yeah. There we go. Now we're getting close. Okie dokie. Yeah, this is looking good. So, somewhere around here. I don't want to build it, like, directly in the kelp, but somewhere where the kelp will be visible, I think, will help. So, maybe on this little plateau area around here might do pretty good. Yeah, and then I'm close to this area where I found Alan as well. Maybe just right right here. This is a pretty decent spot. It's a nice little patch of ground I can call my own. Turn into my own personal sanctuary. Alright? Okay. Yeah, I think that'll work. That'll do the trick. And I got a beacon I can place so I can, you know, if it doesn't automatically... I, I kind of wish this game would automatically, like, when you build a base, put it on the map so you never lose track of it, but it doesn't. Mm -hmm. The ultimate building tool. Okay. So... First things first, we need a multi-purpose room. So, where do we want to put that? Maybe right here. I feel obligated to sing Sushi's last comment. Ahem. Oh, he lives in a pot up under the sea. John Bob Wolf Pants. <laughs> yep. Okay. 
I was just reminded, uh, have you seen the stuff that George Takei posts online? Oh, George Takei posts all kinds of crazy whack stuff, yeah. But, like, he somehow manages to make a pun about everything. Oh, you can rotate stuff now on purpose. Oh, nice. That's cool. Like with the controller. Okay. Oops. Accidentally the wrong button. Okay. Need some air. This is gonna take a little bit. Take a deep breath. Okay. Back under. So, let's see here. I don't have enough titanium for that. I don't have any glass. But I do have just enough for a hatch. So, this will be the entrance into my base. Okay. Whole integrity of the base is at 6.8. So I need two titanium and two quartz for a solar panel. So let's see if we can do a little bit better. I've got plenty of copper, so I need more titanium and more quartz. So, oh, I oh, always oh, need more quartz. oh. Before I get too distant from this, let's assign this. And let's pop our little beacon out. Boop. Oh, I gotta switch controls here. What should we name our base? I need, I need, I need name ideas, guys. What are we gonna name it? Pineapple. Okay, we got, we got, we got pineapple. Any other suggestions? Nothing else? He said pizza. Pizza? Okay. We we can we can we can combine these things. Pineapple pizza alpha. There we go. If you just named it pineapple pizza, we could call it PP for short. P P A P. <laughs> Pen pineapple apple pen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now we have pineapple pizza alpha is go. Now we just need to power it. And I need some food. So let's find some, some more quartz and some more titanium because we got a lot to build here. So. We're going to get this base fully operational. And we're going to currently make it solar powered until I can get a bioreactor going. But I need potted plants and more shrub nuts for that. Would like a bigger planter, but I'll have to do with the little planters that I've found so far. I'm gonna need to definitely find some more quartz. There was quite a bit to the north of the base, I think. Also gonna have to build a fabricator. We're gonna have to build some storage facilities in there. And get some some lockers. Build a jukebox. All kinds of good stuff. We're gonna get this place hopping. And 
I need to eat me some frost and enemy plants so I don't starve to death. There we go. There's some quartz. Oxygen. Shit! I wasn't paying attention. No, no, no. Six. No. Three. Air. I need zero. air. Ugh. Oh boy, you got to zero, man. Hello, penguin. It's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. No concern. I just, yeah, wasn't paying attention to the fact that I was underwater, not able to breathe. I don't want to go on adventures with you anymore. <laughs> That's not very nice. We're just gonna not pay attention to oxygen and shit. Like it's just air. <laughs> it's only like you know essential to life. Survive about three minutes without air. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. I was looking for glass, okay? Uh huh. So yeah. That's your excuse? Yeah. For almost dying? Yeah. It's not a very good excuse. Yeah. <laughs> so she says to just learn to breathe water. Yeah, I know, right? You ever Did you ever think as a kid that if you just tried hard enough, you would be able to breathe underwater? No. I I, I I wished. I I grew up with mermaids and shit. Yeah. Okay, so I think I have yeah, I have everything I need to build uh, a couple solar panels. Let's grab some more titanium. And then let's cook me up a fresh meal. Hot food's always the best. Alright, let's finish making Pineapple Pizza Alpha. Where is it? There it is. And then we'll slowly transfer everything over from the, the, the drop pod over to the base. Drop pod? Does your drop pod have any whiskey pods in it? No. It does not. That's not a very good pod, then. Nope, but I am going to make a coffee machine once we're inside that base. What if we make coffee puzz? <laughs> or coffee jello! Yeah. I also made coffee jello on that show. And they're like, this is like five times as potent as regular coffee, but you'll just eat the entire thing. <laughs> Which means I want it. Especially with whipped cream. Okay, let's get this solar panel set up on here. It doesn't like to sit on the top, so I'm actually going to put it over here. Let's try to get it centered decently. It's so hard. Come on. Yes. Construction complete! Power restored. All systems online. Power restored. All primary systems online. Hell yeah. Oh man, I can build a bioreactor! Oh, so much good stuff. Okay, I'm gonna need... Uh... Another multi-purpose room. And that man's leg. And that man's leg, yes. Right there. Uh, have you tried whipped coffee? Because I haven't. I think it's too much work. Okay, whole integrity. I need more titanium. I also want to build an observatory, but I don't have enough uh, glass. One of these would be cool, too, a scanner room. Those are fun. John, did you try, have you tried whipped whip coffee? I don't believe so. It seems like it'd be really fun, but it... 
You're supposed to whisk it like a thousand times, and we don't have a mixer or anything. <laughs> we yeah. just got a whisk like three days ago. <laughs> oh man, welcome home. Hell yeah! Look at my base. Look at my base. My base is amazing. Give it a lick. Tastes just like raisins. Pretty sure it tastes like fish. It, it tastes like sun-dried fish. <laughs> okay, so let's build a bioreactor in here over in room two. And then I'm going to need a battery charger and a coffee machine and a chic plant pot. I'm going to need a modification station for sure. Definitely some lockers. Oh yeah, and the jukebox. Gotta build the jukebox. That's super critical. Okay, let's go get some titanium. First, let's go harvest my drop pod for all its resources. Probably move the sea truck over here, too. Mm -hmm. I think that's the plan. <laughs> Gotta get ripped, making whisked, whipped coffee. I guess it's a legitimate form of exercise. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to put my posters up. Well, Thank you. darn. I know, right? What am I even doing with my life? This. <laughs> also, yes. I'm going to put some of these nutrition bars away for now. I'll save those for later. I really did end up eating one of those granola bars. And now I want another one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think now I can craft some suitable stuff for the base. I need to build a fabricator. Need to build a Fabergé egg. Could. A fabricator and a bioreactor. I need some lockers. I need a jukebox. All kinds of good stuff. So most importantly, we need tunes first. You know, people always say Russian nesting dolls. Like <laughs> she said, is it? No one said survival couldn't be funky. What is the purpose of this device? It plays music so that I have something to listen to. What is music? I can detect certain patterns within it. Is it mathematical? Yeah, technically. glowy and shit. Alright. Uh, coffee. Yes. That's a must. Sweet dirty bean water! They put Jacksepticeye's reference in there. 
dirty bean water. Yes. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> but these two are heavily intertwined. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mathcore? Why am I not surprised that's a genre? I feel like I've heard of it, but... Okay, locker. I'll just build one for now, because that should be more than enough storage for what little amounts of things I have. Oh yeah, I got all the posters and stuff I can put up. Should probably put a few of those up here in a bit. So I need wiring. Oh, a fabricator needs to be first. Oh, cool! I can already build it. Awesome. There we go, got my own fabricator. Shit, man. Oh, I had a titanium. I am gonna need that thing as well. Later. Not as important right now. So let's do the bioreactor and the potted plant. Yeah, let's do those first. So, time to go collect. Oh, I'm gonna need uh, coral, so I'm gonna need to make another computer chip. That's a for sure. Oh yeah, when uh, when you scan stuff that you already have the patterns for, it just gives you free titanium. So that's a quick way to get extra titanium. I could use some lead. There we go. So I need a chunk of that for one of the things I was going to make. Inventory full. Okay. Making progress. Go into the light. <laughs> Motivational posters. <laughs> Good. 
the new C-Truck X-12. Keep calm and truck on. Is that your favorite country? So far. <laughs> I remember them having a kit in those Oh, you make a wiring kit. A wiring kitten? Yes. Yeah, they do they do have a cat poster. It's, I'm pretty sure it's still in this game too. Bioreactor complete. So, I don't think I can make the observatory, can I? No, I cannot. Because I have no clue how to make enameled glass. I don't think I've even found whatever ingredient is required to make enameled glass. Oh! It's just lead and diamonds. Just diamonds. Just diamonds. You know, not a huge deal or anything. Um, yeah, I don't have enough for that. That's okay. A window would be nice. But I think we'll focus on getting the battery charger and some other stuff. Let's do the potted plant first. Probably put like a window over here. Okay. Do I have that seed on me? No, I do not. Well, crud. I need a speaker in the other room over here so I can still hear the music when I move over here. Why can't I put it there? What the hell, man? That's weird, you can't put it on the bulkheads? Oh, well, unless we put it up there. Nice! Okay... Do I have enough to make a computer chip? I might not have enough gold, though. Nope, missing gold. Okay. Well, shoot. Darn. Looks like I need some more silver and gold. Back to Delta Station. Yeah, the music is a bit loud when you're in the base for whatever reason. I think I can actually adjust the volume level um, in the game on the jukebox itself. <laughs> If I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah, I need to go pick up a shrub nut so I can plant it. Shrub nut? Shrub nut. Gotta have shrub nut so I can feed them into my bioreactor, you know?
Dang it, pick up the damn titanium. <laughs> Do the thing. Penguinies. Can I put a penguin in my base? That'd be awesome. Man, I really hope so now. Maybe if I steal one of their babies and take it with me. I mean, that's probably the way to do it. But when you say it like that, I'm kind of skewed. <laughs> when you say it like that, it doesn't sound nearly as nice. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> They're so goofy looking. <laughs> They're kind of adorable. Uh, I don't know. Uh, when their mouths open, it's fucking scary, though. <laughs> Do it. Attack one of them so it attacks you with its No, I'm not pissing them off. There's tons of them. They can surround me. Although, I'm pretty sure if I try to steal one of their children, they'll get mad. Do it anyway. Another site found. Perhaps its data will tell me something useful. Oh, found another artifact up here. I have collected enough data to extract Material analysis the station. <laughs> Resembling an electron microscope or mass the spectrometer. This tool appears to be designed for the purpose of analyzing physical raw materials. Oh, iron cubes. Noise. Shrub nuts! Okay, I got my shrub nuts. Right, let's look around for some silver and gold. Oh, a prawn station or a prawn mining deposit. Harvests geothermal energy to nurture the life that grows within. Wow. Look at all this fancy stuff over here. Yep, there's some silver. Detecting stone of an astronautical salt transcove vessel nearby. Vessel name Mercury 2. Oh, the Mercury 2's over here. Well, that's good to know. Sulfur and quartz. That I could dip. Oh, yep, there's the mercury too. New blueprint synthesized. I don't have a beacon on me. Oh, that filled up my inventory fast. Forgot metal salvage takes up so much room. Yep, that's a ship, all right. We're gonna have to go digging around in there later. Okay, let's keep an eye out for gold deposits and diamonds. Maybe a piece of lithium. I could use that. Cool looking. 
found another biome. Ah, there's an interesting looking chasm. I should get some air and then come down here and see what's down there. That might be something useful. Down we go. To infinity and beyond. Hey, got my gold. down here, though. I have no memory of this place. It's a lot of events. Huh. Uh. Do not want... Looks like it sucks. Uh, last time I messed around with these, I died, so I think I'm gonna take a hard pass. Oh, fiery death trap. Ow, ow, ow! Speaking of fiery death trap. I just need more resources, man. Is that a sea truck or sea truck module? And that's just a sea truck fragment. And my inventory is full anyways, so let's head back to my truck and then head back to base. Go see what we can make. And I'll see if I can turn the jukebox volume down while I'm in there. Ow. How do humans function with such a fallible and inferior body? Excuse Rude. you. My body is anything but inferior. I work hard for my body to be able to do what it does. Yes, but its overall form is not ideal. For example, consider its use of primitive ball and socket joints. Is there anything you don't find primitive? <laughs> With evolution to get more brain wrinkles and opposable thumbs. It is true, the opposable thumb is excellent. But all corporeal forms are temporary. The ability to be reborn when a body breaks down is paramount. My body is my own and I cherish it. Well, he's kind of got a point. With me. Humans have one life. We plant trees we can never experience the shade of. We build for the next generation. Noble, but again, truly inefficient. <laughs> Noble, but incredibly in inefficient. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, let's see. I think there might be a volume adjuster. Yeah. This? Yeah, there we go. How's that for volume level with the music? Oh, I don't have a thermos. I gotta make a thermos to put in there. Speaking of which... Can I make a thermos? Oh, I need glass. How do I turn it on? Activate. <laughs> you should just be able to like hit a button on it and it would it would like automatically fill it. Oh, it filled it up, okay. 
Oh, it just gives you heat doesn't doesn't give you anything else. That's kind of lame. Oh well. Oh, oh yeah, got to plant a shrub nut. Yes. Grow my plant. Okay. So, I need to make a battery charger and a modification station. So, let's see. Diamond lead computer chip. Diamond lead computer chip. Nice! So here's where I can upgrade a bunch of stuff later. I can make a thermo blade. I don't need that right now, but... Okay. Copper wiring and a wiring kit for the battery charger. Excellent. And now I can put my almost drained batteries in there. Hell yeah. Okay. I'm gonna need to make like a, a room for me just to like hang out in later. Do I have enough quartz to make a piece of glass? Seek fluid intake. Oh, I need water. Soon. Aha, I have just enough to make a piece of glass. I'll make a window. Whole integrity is 4.5. Cool. <laughs> oh, yeah, the metal salvage. Let's go make another room outside. Because I need a, a personal bedroom, I think. Uh, maybe over here. Yeah, right there. Alright, all integrity is 3.3. Oh, I need fiber mesh to make a bed. Well, shit. Well, okay, let's go get some fiber mesh. Well, actually, first I need to get some damn hydration.
vital signs stabilizing. There we go. There's some fiber mesh. And I think we'll go harvest some more of those uh, weird frost plant things. Those should work out nicely. Ooh, I might want to... Eh, I can leave this over here for now. I'm not going to need that for a while. Eventually, I'll move that over to my my main base. It'll do all right over there for now, though. Iceberg artichokes. Very hydrating and nutritious. Don't like iceberg lettuce. Also, yes. Ooh, I wonder if I can jam a couple of these in my uh, my bioreactor. <laughs> Probably take a few with me. Since my shrub nuts haven't grown yet. I like Fred's bed the most. We're going to use that one. I like my chairs to have armrests, personally.
Nice. Let's go collect some stuff to throw in the bio generator. Get back here, you little schmuck. Now these little Arctic peepers are little escape artists. Quite nimble. Give me your power. I need your biomass for electricity. Meow. That is all. Damn it. I missed. And catching these fish by hand is a pain in the butt. Build a grab trap makes it a little easier. The shark. There we go. Okay, I've collected quite a few fish. That should help. Feed well, those into the bioreactor. Perfect. Okie dokie. Well, I think I'll leave this episode here for now. And, uh, take a nap. Nice sheets. I know, right? It's got the sea truck on there. It's pretty snazzy. I like it. What happens as you are sleeping? I was being pulled from a logical world to a logical world, with you at the center of the world. I was dreaming. The brain processes in mysterious ways when we sleep. Does it serve a purpose? It was such disorienting and fragmented thought. Random images and sensations. Hey, he doesn't sleep. It's got to be weird. It does. There are theories, but every human dreams. Many other mammals, too. Is it enjoyable? It can be. We can experience impossible joy and also impossible terror in our dreams. Sometimes I can fly. Sometimes I call out to Sam and can't reach her. Hmm. Sometimes I'm in my underwear, defending my doctoral thesis. <laughs> <laughs> Your nice. feedback indicates that flying is the most enjoyable dream. I therefore hope you have many more of those. <laughs> my own safety. Well, that's a new line. Well, well, well. Oh, look, my my horseshoe shrub's doing good. That looks so weird. Mm-hmm. Sixty-five percent of the way grown. Okay, so we'll save that and then uh, 
We'll leave this here for now. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I hope everyone enjoyed it. And as always, have a wonderful day.